Hey everybody. One of the rarely mentioned downsides of Donald Trump becoming president was that he had to give up presenting his Apprentice TV show, but this week we discovered he's still shouting you're fired, albeit from the Oval Office instead of a TV studio. It was the second time in history that a president sacked an FBI director, the first time was Bill Clinton. Um, fast forward a couple of years and Slick Willie was facing impeachment proceedings and a lot of people would like Trump to be impeached too. But I really hope it doesn't plan out exactly the same because the thought of a Monica Lewinsky style scandal involving Trump's Tower, if you want to call it. Um, frankly, too gruesome to contemplate. Um, comparisons to Richard Nixon and Watergate are also being made, and Trump would be the first to assure us that that's ludicrous, because the Watergate Hotel is a complete dive compared to his luxury five-star hotel in D.C. You'd especially recommend trying the steak while you're there. Honestly, go, it's terrific. Stop paying attention. Nothing to see here. Move along. Um, compared to two, though, you could add that Nixon worked with diplomats to create detente and open up China to the West, whereas Trump wants to reverse all that with prohibitive trade tariffs, although he does really want to copy that wall that the Chinese have. Say what you will about a huge wall. The Chinese did it, and they don't have any illegal immigration from Mexico these days. And domestically speaking, comparing them, Nixon set up the EPA. Uh, Trump wants to shut it down, um, along with CNN, of course, and the New York Times, and any other fake news outlets talking about James Comey. Anyway, see you next week. If you like these, click on the channel to subscribe.